in my mid 20s i had a very odd period mid 20s why you got wrinkles like that didn't you look 55 in your mid 20s you need to exfoliate my boy the sun is killing your ass boy needs some collagen period of my life where i didn't have anywhere to stay and wasn't making enough money to live somewhere on my own I broke boy out of college and was running out of time to move out of the dorms all okay. my friends from school were just moving back in with their parents or leaving town so it left me in a bad spot. Okay. I needed to find a cheap place and a roommate to split the bills with. Yeah. This time was getting scarily close to me needing to move. Damn, you got about two weeks, boy. Website. It was posted by a man named Xander, listing the ad as a search. That's what I'm saying. Hold on. The house he was renting. I'm not trusting no nigga named Xander. You tell me right now, chat. You know one trustworthy nigga named Xander. I'll wait. Who got a good friend named Xander? He ain't never stole nothing, but he always be dressed. That sounds like a nigga who be dressing nice all the time, but ain't got no f***ing money. Versace, chains on, all type of Dior, regular Dior t-shirts, everything that match, but ain't got no f***ing money. Xander? That sounds like a scammer name. This nigga's a scammer. My cousin, but his whole name, Alexander. That don't count. That don't count. Alexander is safe. He all right. I checked the rest of the post, seeing it was a relatively small house, which likely meant it would be cheap, too. I replied to the ad, and later that day, Xander called me. He set up a tour and agreed on a price, <laughs> and I ended up moving. Xander out. ready to. Though basically having. That boy home, over. I still didn't think it was a bad place. Okay. Xander and I got along well. He had also just graduated, so we were both on the same page. And Y'all look really alike. Refreshing to have a friend in a similar position. Don't they look like his older brother or something? You should have did Ancestry.com, my boy. Xander might be your uncle. <laughs> the house itself, though, wasn't the best. It only had a single bedroom, so my room was the living room. It was yeah. better than nothing, though, and I was out working most of the time anyway. Okay. After a week or so of living there, having just fully settled in, it was the middle of the night, and I was sleeping in my living room when I heard the front door open. Sleeping in my living room. I looked up and saw Xander walking in. He looked over at me, but I don't think he noticed I was awake because he walked right past and down the hall to his room. I heard him move something around, but then he came back out. Okay. He walked down to the front door again, this time stopping and turning to face me. Xander stood there and looked at me for a good five to ten seconds before okay. going back outside. Something about the way he was acting made me really uncomfortable. A few minutes went by before I heard some movement outside the front door. When it opened, I closed my eyes so that he wouldn't notice I was awake. He know you awake. He came in and shut the door, then walked slowly down the hallway, breathing heavily. As he got to the end, I opened my eyes slightly. Catching a glimpse of Xander holding what looked like a body in his arm. Nigga, that wasn't slightly. This nigga opened his eye all the way. And I opened my eyes sli slightly. Slightly. Your damn cornea is almost taking up your whole fucking eye space. My bad. I mean, eye space. This for the kids. <laughs> so they gonna know that it's a word right there that you shouldn't say and later question about it. But right now, kids, just know it's a noise right there that don't mean nothing. Don't pay attention to it at all. Catching a glimpse of Xander holding what looked like a body in his arms. What looked like a body? That is a body. And shut the door. I was almost so in shock that I wondered if what I saw was even real. I leave. Came up with every Immediately. Like maybe he was out partying and the body was just some passed out drunk person needing a place to sleep. Uh-huh. I sat up and quietly walked closer to his room to try and hear what he was doing. As I listened to him continually moving around, the worry about what he was up to started to overcome me. Okay. After thinking about Wait it, a minute. I knocked on his door. You gonna go to his door? That what you gonna do? You gonna go to the door of a person that looked like they just dragged a body in? That's a no smart. You're no smart. Whatever about to happen to him, he deserve it. You deserve it. 
all the movement stopped instantly and was followed by multiple seconds of silence before he walked over. I heard the lock click and then he cracked the door open, only enough for me to see a sliver of his face. He Man, that boy sweating hard as hell! And said he was just rearranging some things. After hearing him lie, I figured I'd just straight up ask. What was no! Thing when you just came in? Was that person okay? His face straightened, and he had a look in his eyes I'd never seen before. He didn't answer. We held eye contact as things got increasingly more intense. That's your ass! Then I quickly slammed my body into the door, knocking Xander back and revealing a lifeless body slouched up in the corner of his room. He shoved me out and locked the door behind me, but I don't- Now y'all finna now. fight. I ran back and got my phone, then left the house and called the police. He let you leave? Xander made no attempts to run or hide, but unfortunately, it was too late. The body was completely lifeless and had been so for multiple hours. The this ain't scary. Else were withheld, but I know he lied about his age, being almost 30 years old. Yeah, you almost 30 years old, to too. Day. He still has kept to himself about why he did it and what he was doing with the body. I consider myself lucky, though, to have gotten out of that situation quickly, because if I hadn't, who knows where I'd be. <laughs> Which I would have did. It's y'all time now. Which I would have did if y'all moved in with somebody. And you seen them carry a body into their room. And you not thinking it's a body. You sure that it's a body. Into their room. In that moment. What y'all are doing? I know me personally. I'm going to get my ass up. Grab whatever I need as fast as I can. And get my ass out of there. You said call the police. Why you still there? Your ass might need to leave. You would have asked if he needed help. He your roommate? Juju, you evil as... <laughs> That's who I was talking about earlier, y'all. That's why I said that crazy shit about his ass. Don't even confront, dude. Get the f*** out of there. I ain't even say the word. I said, get the f***. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to grab the blick and buzz. <laughs> Hell no. All right. Y'all ready for the second story? That wasn't really scary. It was just hilarious, honestly. Well, not hilarious because somebody died. But just the arrangement of everything. There was a lot of red flags that I feel like a regular person would have noticed. This summer in late June, I moved from right, my story number two. into a quaint little home on the outskirts of my city. I was familiar with the area and had been eyeing the house market for a while, hoping to finally leave my apartment and purchase a home. Okay. This one was old. Why everybody trying to find a new home? Oh, it's house great. horror story. It was a mile down Duh. just off the highway. Mostly with trees and grass around, but there were a few neighbors within sight as well. Okay. The day I moved in, I drove the U-Haul down to the house, and while I was unloading, I noticed someone watching me. Mm. They were standing really far away. Oh my god! Line, but were facing me and just watching as I moved in. Being so far away though. I oh my god! Time. How long? They were standing really far away. Bruh, zombie! <laughs> Yo, I moved into the last of us. Get out of there. I would promptly stop all the moving right now. Everybody, grab that couch. Grab whatever we can put in here and bring it out of this mother. <laughs> Just because that nigga is standing right there on the corner. You know what happened the last time I seen a nigga? This is like a junkie, bro. Like a junkie hiding behind something on the corner. I remember when I was like, how old was I? Like 12 years old. And we living in the hood. We living in the middle of the hood. I'm talking about the hood where gunshots is like bird noises. That shit is the same. 
it's regular. It's just background noise. I'll be on the phone with somebody and just hear pop, 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 get straight down and continue talking. Like, yeah, as I was saying, uh, I can't come outside and play today. So I remember one night we went to go uh, to one of our family members' house. And the night we got all in the car, my mom drove us down the street. And at the edge of the street, right, I swear to y'all, bro, I'm not making this up. It was a nigga trying to hide behind the stop sign. And the lights from the car show his full body and silhouette and face and everything. And he tried to hide behind a damn stop sign. We're like, nigga, we see you. And we just drove off because, like, that was random. Why would a random homeless crackhead person be just hiding behind a stop sign? So we went on to our family house. Tell me why the next day we get back, right? We spent the night over there. We get back. Our house broke into. Big ass foot looked like it went through the damn window. So if I see a nigga hiding behind something like this in the middle of the, he in the middle of the damn day trying to hide behind a tree. Get your ass out of there, bro. Go. Run. He white, though. He probably like, man, our neighbors sure are hungry. Like, this nigga, he probably go off his ass some food or something. Let's see how this turn out for my boy. Too far off toward the tree line, but we're facing me. Nah, I was in Memphis. As I moved in. Being so far away, though, I didn't see much harm in it. I just found it to be kind of creepy. I forgot about them for a while, focusing on getting everything inside the house before- I ain't forgetting about that. I finished around six, just as the sun was starting to set. Okay. With time to spare, I went back outside and locked up the back of the U-Haul. Back outside, in, boys, doing 70 on- off. When I turned the truck on and started driving, though, I noticed that person again, now closer to the road, but still near the tree. Run him over! When I Run his ass over! Watched as their head turned, following the truck with their gaze as I drove away. That's exactly how it was, bro. During my drive to the U-Haul shop, I got a strange feeling in my car. Oh, watch me. Just that something was really off about that guy, and maybe he wasn't so innocent. I turned in the truck and ordered an Uber back. I don't know why his eyebrows green. We drove down the driveway, and although it was probably too dark by now, I'll still note that I didn't see him anywhere. Yeah. I got out and went inside, turning on the lights and feeling overwhelmed by the amount of boxes and furniture stacked all throughout the house. Okay. It was just past 630, so I took a dinner break, then got to unpacking. I spent the whole night organizing what needed to go in storage and what needed to be unpacked. Mm -hmm. Once I had the pile of boxes for storage, I started taking them up to the attic. I pulled the ladder down and carefully climbed up. With and down the came that nigga. Pulled the box up. When I got up there, it was pitch black, but I could barely see the light. Hands. Reflecting a bit of light from downstairs. I walked over and pulled the string to turn it on. And you seen that nigga in there. And didn't light up more than a couple feet around. He about to be in there. I he about to be in there. Pushed it up against the wall, then went back down the ladder and into the kitchen where I'd piled up my other storage boxes. I picked up another, and as I walked over to the stairs, I heard the sound of metal shaking. He about to be in there, bro. The hallway. It was the clear sound of someone climbing down the ladder. Climbing down the ladder? And just a moment later, a man appeared at the top, looking down at me. Hey, no! Running down the stairs. No! Speed, and I turned. No! The front door. I could hear his footsteps coming up behind me. No, that nigga fast. Car, he way too fast. Doors as he slammed up against it and tried to open it. After a few failed attempts, he tried to punch the window a couple times, then took off running. Yo! I was absolutely terrified. Yo! Of course, they didn't find too much, but guessed he might have been staying in the attic for a few days. Based on a few blankets that were up there. I don't know the truth and likely never will. 
but just thinking about how I was up in the attic as he was hiding somewhere in the dark. Damn. And he did chase me afterward. So I'm pretty sure he wasn't a harmless person hiding. Yeah. Out. Oh my God. Is a question that I don't want answered. Sheesh, bro. I knew it. I knew it, bro. I knew he was up there. But the crazy thing is, this nigga was only mad because he like, you taking my house. <laughs> Give me my house back, you little whippersnapper. Give me my house back. <laughs> That's probably what he was saying. <laughs> Get out. This is my house. I don't know why he sound like Fat Albert. Hey, hey, hey! This is my house today. Oh my god, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> what y'all would have did if y'all moving into a house and you see a homeless person standing right there? But he don't look like a regular homeless person. He look like he's on some type of hard drug. Because y'all know what I would have did. I would have packed my shit up. Kept it moving. Roommates? What the hell? <laughs> you would have just tried to peacefully... Hey, 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 bro. We can both stay here. Hey, hey. Chill out, man. We can both stay here. You keep that room. You can have the attic. I don't want nothing to do with that. You can have the attic. That's yours. Just let me keep the rest of the house. I don't want to see your little funky ass walking around here, though. Unless you leaving. Don't come down here and just be hanging out. You come downstairs, your head better be headed out the door. But other than that, shit. You know what? Matter of fact, I'll build you your own exit. I put a ladder from the ground to the window, and you can just exit out that motherfucker. I ain't never got to see you. You got it, big bro. You got it, twin. You see what running got to do? Hell yeah, he got chased. Like the bank. <laughs> All right, let's move on to story number three. After this, we're going to play uh, this scary puzzle game called Exit 8. I don't know if y'all ever seen it or heard about it. I've seen a couple people playing it. It looked interesting. I'm going to need y'all help, though, because it's a puzzle game. And you know what I'm saying? I got the smartest gang ever because y'all to help me through a lot of shit. Y'all help me through Poppy Playtime. You know what I'm saying? And I like playing games with y'all because y'all be like, they for me shit. Don't cry to it. Keep it going. But yeah, story number three. And then mm, we might watch something else scary or we might just move straight on to the, you know what I'm saying? Exit eight. I lived in the same house for my entire life. Yeah. All the way from childhood through high school and okay. even most of college. <clears throat> so when I moved out during my last year of school, it was really weird to be in a different place. Why his eyeball like that? Out an extremely small single bedroom house on the most of college. Is he okay? So when I moved out during What's going on with my boy eyeball? <laughs> Is this the homeless man story before he got homeless? Is this the old crazy nigga from the last one? Before his life was actually good? Or we'll popped a perk thousand. He popped a perk one million. <laughs> His ass on another plane right now. Good God. During my last year of school. That boy eyes burgundy. What the hell? It was really weird to be in a different place. I'd rented out an exchange. He just ready for that whatever comes on back. The other side of town. And even though the change of environment was different for me, I still really liked it. On day one, I got a van and moved all my stuff into the new place. I didn't unpack really at all. I just set all the boxes down in the main room and chilled for the rest of the night. The whole process of finding a place, contacting the owners, signing papers, all of it just had me. That just hurt my ears, whatever noise that was. I don't know if y'all heard that. But tell me why my dumb ass was like, why they keep moving into a new house? Three true new house horror stories animated. Duh, tut. <clears throat> me exhausted, and it felt good to be done with go all the boxes down in the main room and chilled for the rest of the night. 
Yeah. Whole process of I ain't unpacking that shit. Contacting the owners, signing papers, <clears throat> all of it just had me exhausted, and it felt good to be done with all the hard parts of it. I hooked up the TV and stood it up on a few sturdy boxes, then turned on a show to watch. It was Dirty ass eyeballs. So it was too early for bed, but as I sat there and watched with half open eyes, at some point I began hearing two people talking outside. I lowered the volume on the TV. Why are you? What are you watching? It sounds like they were right outside my house. Lowered the volume. What are you TV watching? And listened, hearing it sounds like they were. Sir. I lowered the. What is these? What is these? What this is? Why the hell Goofy and Mickey got blood on them? What is going on? What type of... This is exactly what I figure a nigga with eyeballs like that would be watching. We can't blame him. His eyeballs dirty as hell. This type of shit nigga with dirty eyeballs watch. Nigga with yellow eyeballs. John this ass eyeballs. Yeah. The volume on the TV and listened, hearing it sound like they were right outside my house, but they were talking quietly and whatever they were saying was too hard to make out. I got yeah, I'm a, walked over to one of the windows. I'm gonna make it out with that blick. Curtain back a little. But as soon as I did, a <laughs> figure quickly moved past it from outside. I jumped back a bit, getting started yeah. by them, being so close. So They'll close. be started by that. Bra, bra, bra. Speaking by now, but I could hear a set of footsteps quickly going around the house. No! Only stopped too. Just like that, it was completely quiet again. Okay. I checked a few more windows before getting back to the couch and continuing with my show. Man, no! I was just being paranoid about living alone for the first time in a new environment, and I knew the neighbors' houses were really close. Why you got all them so damn bedrooms living by yourself? Around. I sat there for a while. I couldn't do it. Laid down as I started getting sleepy, dozing off around ten. Okay. When I woke up, the house was completely dark, with the only light coming from the TV screen. Mhm. Mm I looked at my phone and saw it was two a.m. So I shut off the TV and laid back down. All right. But just as I was about <clears throat> to close my eyes, a soft creak echoed through the floorboards from across Ooh. the room. Toward the sound. Oh! <laughs> His ass is done. His ass is done, y'all. Imagine you laying there, you having a good ass sleep, you falling in and out of sleep, beautiful as hell, dreaming about some shit that don't even make no sense, and you just hear, oh my god. Standing in the doorway across, immediately shifted my the floorboards from across the room. Bro, <clears throat> immediately shifted my eyes toward the sound. Standing in the doorway across the hall. Oh snap! At me. His eyes were wide open, peering at me with half of his body hiding behind the door frame. What? My eyes were locked on them for the longest few seconds of my life. Oh my God! Sprinted out of the doorway. Sprinted out of the door. doorway. Immediately after, another. I jump out the window. The other side of the house ran in the same direction. There were a few soft thuds, then silence. Yo! Making the entire thing even more terrifying. My heart was beating out of my chest. And I was Bruh. in the odd state of panic while also being frozen in place. <clears throat> when I collected myself, I Yo! one, telling them what happened in between my shaky breaths. Yo! While still on the line with the officer, I got up and turned on the light. Through harm in it, I just found it. What the hell? I forgot about them for a while, focusing the on the do? inside the house. I fucked up, y'all. Yeah. Quietly. Whatever they were saying, friends, going my bad. down my multiple bad. My bad, I fucked up, y'all. Trying to turn the damn auto tone on. Shit. So 
I assumed it was just them walking around. Just like that, it was completely quiet again. Yeah. yeah. I checked a few more windows before getting back to the couch and continuing with my show. I was, mm -hmm. sure I was just being paranoid about living alone for the first time in a new environment, and I knew the neighbors' houses were really close, so I assumed it was just them walking around. I sat there for a while and eventually laid down as I started getting sleepy, dozing off around 10. When I woke up, the house was completely dark with the only light coming from the TV screen. I looked at my phone and saw it was 2 a.m., so I shut off the TV and laid mm -hmm. down. But just as I was about to close my eyes, a soft creak echoed through the floorboards from across the room. I immediately shifted my eyes toward the sound, standing in the doorway across the hall. What the hell? Peering at me with half of his body hiding behind the door frame. My eyes were locked on them for the longest few seconds of my life before they what the out of the door boy? and down the unlit hallway. Immediately after, another set of footsteps on the other side of the house ran in the same Terrified! Direction. There were a few soft thuds, then silence. The house was still fully dark, making the entire thing even more terrifying. My heart was beating out of my chest, and I was I bet it was. in panic while also being frozen in place. <clears throat> when I collected myself, I dialed 911 telling them what happened in between my shaky breaths. Crazy. Still on the line with the officer, I got up and turned on the light. Through the hallway were scuffed shoe prints going up and down. Is that blood? Stairs. Then I turned around and looked back at the living room where I was sleeping, and all over the carpet were more dirty shoe prints, some even getting... Them folks was a few feet crip walking in your damn house. When cops showed up, they searched around and took a few samples, but they didn't get any hard. Info were doing a macarena at your damn spot. Even more unnerving, though, <laughs> they still aren't sure how the intruders got inside or outside. They the had house. a party in your damn crib. I told them about the thuds I heard from the back of the house as they left, but the windows ah. in that area of the house were still locked. They had a party in their my house. Unlocking and locking them from outside, but that had to be it. While the amount of shoe prints showed they likely had been inside for a long time, going Damn. each room multiple times over, nothing Damn. Ever up missing. They never showed any signs of wanting to harm me either, but it all just horrified Man, me. the hell with that? Why they broke in? Maybe they were looking for someone else. Maybe they were looking for somebody else. They would have found somebody. All right, God, they would have found God that night. Come back. He would never came back. Hey, I feel like they got better as we went, right? The first one was kind of okay. The second one was like, hold on, what's going on? The third one was like, hey, what y'all rate it as a whole? Like, one through ten, what y'all rate it? Seven, you gonna rate it a seven? Okay. While y'all do that, let me get exit eight. Uh, load it up here. A 45. Juju, your ass don't 